17, when we were casting all those tournaments, we always were talking to people about what is it like going up against Surgical Goblin? And everybody said, it's just, it's a different animal. You know what I mean? And let's see if Diego B could shut down the Goliath that is the Goblin. Speaking of goblins, we got a goblin hut here in the center from Zero G. He's going to be getting a little bit of chip damage out to the right side. But no, he's going to go hard on the left side attack immediately. A nice goal on that bridge and a graveyard stack right on top of it. Diego B defense with a nice goal to soak some of that damage, but it's going to be a defensive poison from him stacked on top to try to deal with these skeletons out back. Stopping short this push, but still Surgical Goblin earning about 400 damage in total and not much value out of the execution on that counterattack. The right lane getting swiped down by a Mega Minion. Yes, it's gonna get swiped down indeed as the Goblin HUD is continuing to spawn goblins on this right-hand side. Just a nuisance at this point. And look at this, beautiful, oh no! The Ice Spear comes back to stop the Electro Wizard from taking care of the King Tower. Now that tornado is in essence completely useless waste of three elixir and Surgical Goblin takes the lead. That was a big vulnerability for Surgical Goblin that fortunately for him, Diego B was not able to capitalize on there. If the tornado had pulled the Electro Wizard close enough to the King Tower and it had zapped it instead of the Ice Spirit, that would have been an amazing defensive edge for Diego B, especially considering that he's going up against Graveyard Deck. But it's a Graveyard Mirror in Chatton. And there is a lot of skeleton spawning on the right hand side they're gonna get a little bit of chip damage drop the electro wizard comes in and shuts down the bulk of that push electro wizard coming in on the backhand side is it gonna be dealt with with an ice spirit no just gonna just let it go oh he's going for the tornado play this time and gets it the king tower activated now for diego b on the back side will be a defensive boon for him but at what cost he's already gone down to the 1700 mark on the right side and pretty close to the same at the left Diego B is going to be uh, interested in concentrating his firepower over on the right lane while Surgical can really go either side. Yeah, here comes an Ice Golem and a Mega Minion on the right hand side. It's going to do a ton of damage on the right. The poison coming in. Their guards are just going to soak in the poison. The lock comes down as well on defense and the Electro Wizard. A lot of defense used right there from Surgical Goblin just to defend a graveyard. Surge now realizing that his better win condition is to just stack up as many goblins as he can at that left lane. Has now got two huts moving on in, but an executioner to stop them all is a pretty solid defensive move from Diego B. Right side's gonna be another aggressive graveyard as the Ice Skull Mega Minion crosses the bridge. Poison stacked on defense this time from Surgical Goblin to try to keep the damage off tower. Looks like the uh, skeletons aren't even gonna get uh, very much, but one single stab in there. Yeah, just a little bit of chip here, a little bit of chip there. Here comes the graveyard coming in from Surgical Goblin. The Executioner not going to get too much value here. Ice Golem has to come down as well. Skeletons are not hitting the tower. And we have to go back to when the Electro Wizard activated the King Tower. Completely almost kept this tower untouched from that graveyard. We're seeing two uh, relatively unknown decks. I mean, the, the archetype is quite familiar, but we actually have got a P.E.K.K.A. coming on in from Diego B now. A super heavy graveyard deck, the likes of which we haven't seen in a very long time. Splash Yard decks used to get a lot of value back in the day, but it looks like this one actually relies on just totally uh, overwhelming your opponent's defense. At this time, it's going to be a massive strike at the right side! Executioner swipes through the tower and poisons now, and is definitely going to keep his level head. We'll see if he's able to get the reverse sweep here. He's been known to do it before, but will Diego B keep up the pressure? We got a mega meeting to start off with both players over on the right lane. Passive plays in the first minute, just testing the waters to see what their opponents have got for them. The calm in the arena as we just listen to the wings of the mega minions. It's kind of like a soothing sound, you know? Just watching like a... Bit of a misread there by Surgical Goblin. I think that he imagined that the zap would have been enough to finish off that push on the right. Mega Minion surviving though gave that flying machine a little bit more time to chip away at the tower. And Surgical Goblin down about 800 hit points on the right side. It's going to leverage this elixir advantage to push hard left. A golem right behind his king tower and four more elixir to his name for this push out the left side. He's got a 
really solid chance of being able to wipe this tower out if Diego B doesn't watch out on defense. Yeah, Diego B took a huge breath after that golem was played. Here comes a Lumberjack on the left-hand lane with a Knight, which Lumberjack absolutely clears through cards, and the Rage is now being played. Is the golem going to be able to get to the tower? That's the question. The Rage is in. Oh, no. The Mega Minion goes to the Skeletons, though, and not the Flying Machine. Great defense from Diego B. A Tombstone is one of the best unit, uh, best buildings in the game to stop these big, heavy tanks because after it dies, it spawns skeletons that continue, come up from the grave and take care of your tank. Another pump comes down from Surgical Goblin, just trying to get that elixir advantage. Diego B's going hard on the right hand lane. We got uh, 10 seconds left until we get into triple, uh, double elixir time. Here comes a balloon with the lava and the flying machine is trying to clear out the balloon. That was really an amazing defense on the left side from Diego B, but this big attack on the right side has got me even more impressed. Balloon gets the final drop, and that is going to be an absolute kill at the right lane. Surgical Goblin has 50 seconds left to stay in the tournament by getting a tower down and putting this thing into overtime. Yeah, 44 seconds left. This golem's coming on the left-hand side, but once again, a tombstone is down. Woody, what does he have to do to get this golem to the tower? He's got to push through the defense as Mega Minion and a Flying Machine looking deadly, but that Lava Hound's not too much of a problem for Surgical Goblin. Fireball on defense knocks back the Nightwitch, but doesn't fully finish it off. Zap finally goes down, though, and then he got a Rage. Uh, Mega Minion getting awfully close. Distracted by his opponent's Mega Minion, though, it looks like Surgical Goblin has finally got the last answer to get into the tower. Lumberjack connects, Flying Machine as well. Diego B cries the tears of defeat as left side is pummeled. Still, though, Diego B is in a good position here. He's down on this left lane, but uh, it has gotten Surgical Goblin's tower already to 1509. Let's see if he manages to recoup here and get back in for a counterattack. There's a Lava Loon on the left-hand side. Mega Minion is starting to destroy the Lava. Here comes the Fireball. Is the Blue going to connect onto the oh, tower? No. Woody, is it going to? No! It was so close to hitting and chatting, but when the Lava Hound exploded, the pups pushed the balloon back just enough. Wow, really aggressive flying machine there from Diego B. Gets a little bit of chip damage in there, but leaves him vulnerable. An aggressive Golem out the right side from Surgical Goblin is exactly what he's looking for to finish this game off. Lumberjack connects for a huge hit out the right side, but it's a push. It's a base race. Who's going to be left. able to win? It's a Golem on the right, Blue on the left. Balloon 